Tighten the pores and lift the skin with a 3D face corset. Face corset? Who's ever heard of a face corset? I'm not sure I want my face in a corset. It sounds a little painful, but uh, skin tightening, face lifting. Hmm. Words that I do like hearing. I got this product for free. This is from Kaylin Cosmetics, and I'm going to give you my 100% honest opinion of this. They are not paying me a cent. This item costs $14. I will drop it in the links down below. Let's give it a try and see how it works. It says, innovative three layer clay sheet. A sheet of filaments between two layers of pink kaolin clay allow easy attachment and removal. This is sounding very complicated. Divided into upper and lower sections, the mask effectively covers the face. 3D face corset. The mask tightly compresses the face structure as it dries, providing poor tightening skin lifting sensation. Now this is supposed to sit on my face for 40 to 50 minutes. So that right there tells me that this is a product that is more of a special occasion product than something you would use on a daily basis unless you have way more available time on your hands than I do. And patience. I think that at Christmas time, we all have a lot of parties and events and you wanna look your best and you know, at 14 bucks a pop, if this works, that's not a bad way to look your best if you're going to a fancy Christmas party. So, or a great stocking stuffer. So let's find out if this thing works. We have our silk ampoule essence in this part of the package and our clay mask in this part of the package. How to use wash face, pat dry. Done that. Peel off the clear plastic film from the upper segment and attach it from the forehead to the top of the nose tip. I better get a mirror. I don't have a mirror here. It's getting far more complicated than I imagined. So it's in two sections. Here is the top section and here is the bottom section. Okay, so you've got a clear plastic side and then you have a not clear plastic side. So I'm gonna take the clear plastic off. Let's see if the instructions are better here than they are on the... Oh, that's a good look. It just doesn't say anything about peeling off this part, but obviously I need to, right? I mean, shouldn't I? But it just doesn't seem to want to adhere well. Maybe I'm not doing this right, but it doesn't seem to be terribly well explained. Probably shouldn't cover my nostril. That's probably not a good idea. It's a little, it moves around. That's weird. I'm not sure I'm doing this right. I think I have it too low, but you know, wanting to get it on those eyes. Yeah, I have it too low. Oh well. I think that should be up higher. I want to have that further up there? I don't know. No, I don't want to cover that. Yeah, this is a mess. I guess it's worth it if it works. Try the next one.
peel off the clear plastic. Hello, Clarice. I'm particularly interested in this little spot right here. That's where it gets saggy that I don't like. Doesn't wanna let go, let go, let go. Let go. So that should overlap. That's good. Well, I think I totally messed it up in the top part, but it looks right in the bottom part. And I will see you in 50 minutes. I'm gonna process for a while and there's no point in taking you along for the whole 50 minutes. I feel pretty. Well, I have to say it does dry very tight. It does feel like a face corset. So I will give them that. You can see it's changed color as it's gotten dry, and I absolutely cannot open my mouth more than this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and see if this part right here that is still a little dark, if that'll get a little bit drier. It has been 50 minutes. So it's now been a full hour. This did not get any drier. I gotta get this stuff off because it's like, it's so tight, it's making me bonkers. But I think this is a great character for a horror film. Now if I could just like get somebody to make a horror movie and put me in this, that way I could just wear this all day and then go home with really spectacular skin every night. We think. I don't know. But it's, it's kind of scary looking. Anyway, let's get this crap off my face. Oh, that feels good getting that off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go give my face a rinse and then we will, uh, look, we can leave that sitting around and save it for next Halloween. All sorts of fun you could have with that. Okay, gave the skin a rinse with warm water to get the excess clay off of it. And I have to say, my pores look pretty darn tight, so I'm very pleased with that. I think it gave the, the pores a really, really tight look. I will take a photograph and give you, show you the befores and afters so you can decide for yourself. I'm uh, gonna add the Silk Nora Shampoo Essence. I think there's enough in here to use a couple of times, so if it's a nice moisturizer, I'll be using it a little later too every little bit, every last drop. My skin feels nice. It feels really good. I looked in the in my makeup mirror. By the way, a lot of people ask me about my makeup mirror. It's from Costco. I paid $15 for it. Uh, Con Air it makes it, and you can get it on Amazon too, and I usually put the link in a lot of my videos where I'm really using the mirror, but I guess I'll do it in this one now since I said so. But I got mine at Costco, but it's available in a lot of places. My skin is now completely ready to do my makeup. So I think the Kaylin, I think the Kaylin, mask is great for a special occasion if you want to look your best one night it does require 50 minutes of downtime so you know maybe a good time to slap that on and give yourself a manicure or a pedicure or whatever other little treatments you have going on getting ready for your special event it's also you know kind of a nice stocking stuffer i think uh even for yourself as a, a treat but I thought it did a pretty good job. Uh, the before and after pictures will definitely tell us more. Judge for yourself. I.
I took a bunch of unflattering before photos and I will now take a bunch of probably equally unflattering after photos, but I want to get that camera in as close as I can so you can decide for yourself if the Kaolin R2M pink Kaolin clay mask is something that you are interested in. So looking at the before and after photos, I will let you decide for yourself if you think the Kaolin Cosmetics R2M Silk Ka Kaolin, why do I have the hardest time saying that? Silk Kaolin Pink Clay Mask is something that you think would be a worthwhile $14 investment for you. Ready to Make Up Silk Kaolin Pink Clay Mask by Kaolin Cosmetics. What do you think? Is it something you would use on a regular basis? Is it something you would use for a special event? Is it something you wouldn't use at all? Drop your comments down below. Please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. I love you bunches and I will talk to you very soon.